Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to have a look at the brand new tournament that's been released. Tournament August 2021 Carmageddon Censored. Complete challenges, conquer the leaderboards and fame to get rewards. Tournament 2021 Season 13. I am so looking forward to this. I was a massive fan of the Carmageddon game so I absolutely cannot wait to have a look at this tournament. So let's get into this. Okay, here are the four daily challenges. I've had a go at them, so yeah, please have a look at my uh, my video for those daily challenges. Now let's have a look at the new Carmageddon weekly and season tournament. Oh, <laughs> what's going on here? Nothing here. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I mean, there was no weekly challenge last week, but I thought they're doing, they're concentrating on a new tournament they're going to make sure that this is working and okay so that's the main thing okay let's have a look at the store there's the new car the Eagle R Carmageddon car so let's buy that with our fame points okay there's obviously no point with the weekly and season tournament they're not there let's go and see what else there is let's have a look at the custom event so here are the two new Carmageddon tracks. So you've got Bleak City and we have got Devil's Canyon as well. So these are tracks and areas based on the original Carmageddon game. Okay, let's have a look at Bleak City to start with. So we've got a, a new race track in the forward direction, free roam, uh, demolition arena and also race track in the reverse direction. Let's have a look at the racetrack in the forward direction then. Got to use the new Eagle R car of course. Here we come into the race then. The the car itself looks pretty uh, pretty authentic I think compared with, with how it used to be. Yeah, these graphics look familiar as well from the Carmageddon game. I think they've done a pretty good job of of recreating this. We've got the zombies on the side. I used to love playing this game so much. Really good game. So you've got the zombies with the green blood as you uh, knock over them. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure at the time there was a bit of controversy when the game was released. They were originally going to be human pedestrians with red blood. But because of uproar, they, they had to change them to zombies with green blood. In, here we come into the stadium where we've got, yeah, it's an American football field. All the zombies dressed up in American football gear with their shoulder pads and their helmets. Around a bit of a loop here. This this is obviously like a racetrack that's been set up specially for Wreckfest because I'm pretty sure this wasn't part of the, the main the main race. Yeah, we used to go down the left hand side here, I remember now. Yeah, down there we used to go. So obviously configured a, a, a racetrack around this area. Can we go in the water? You used to be able to go in the water as well. No, just resets you. Okay, that's uh, fair enough, but yeah, in the Carmageddon game you used to be able to go into the water. Okay, let's uh, see what else we can remember. Pretty sure in the original Carmageddon game you'd start off with a certain amount of time and obviously that time would reduce. If you knocked over pedestrians or there's cows around as well, knock over cows then it'd increase your time, or if you uh, hit or wrecked any of the other competitors then you get a load more time as well so that would then give you enough time to complete the race so you could either win the race by winning the race coming first or you could uh, wreck all the other all the other vehicles that was the other way that you could win these th I mean everything is so uh, so well done actually authentically done all the graphics look the same the checkpoints look the same even the sounds sound pretty familiar to me I think through we come then for the start of the uh, for the second lap. I've seen I've seen a bit of a, m a mixed response. Let's let's forget about the weekly and the uh, the small issue with the weekly and season challenge not working. That aside, I think there's been sort of a mixed response about some people really enjoying this, some people not enjoying it. Uh, uh, for me, I used to love the game, so uh, this I was so excited when I found out they were going to do this. It's it's such a shame, and it's 
pretty inexcusable really isn't it to release an update that doesn't work I've, I've had a look and there's a, a number of people who I mean I'm playing on the PS4 version I think it looks like it's mainly affecting PS4 I have seen some comments from people with PS5 as well saying that it's it's the same for them the weekly and the season challenge not isn't there so yeah please comment and let me know what console you're playing on and if it's working or not working I think it's just really poor form. They've, they've got to be testing this software before they're releasing it. They, they must know if it does, if it works or it doesn't work on all the uh, on all the supported consoles. And and if it doesn't work, they should either a delay the release or at the very minimum release it with a with a some sort of press release saying, look, we're sorry, it doesn't work on this console. We're working hard to fix it. We're looking to. To release it all fully working by such and such a date, at least you'd know. But it's uh, it's it's pretty bad, and it's such a shame, really. Okay, there we go through for the finish. Well, I wasn't really concentrating on trying to win, but hey, at least we've seen the the race track. So let us have a look at the other one as well, Devil's Canyon. See if I can remember that one as well. Looks familiar. So we've just got a, a forward direction racetrack and a demolition arena for this one. Yeah, this this looks familiar. Let's just do a, a quick race then. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, I remember this area. There's some ramps up there and there's like drops down to the side. You can see to the left there with tunnels that you could go through and then ramps to get yourself back up onto the track. Let's uh, smash our way through there. Oh, one's gone down into the uh, into the area. I can see as a racetrack though. This is going to be whoa, pretty good. I nearly got twisted there and twisted into that building. Oh, there used to be barrels as well. I'm just remembering. Yeah, there used to be barrels on Carmageddon as well. I wonder if they've got them. So again, there was different co colour barrels. Some of them again gave you gave you extra time. Some of them, I can't remember if they made you indestructible. Some were like, oh, was it granite or something? It used to make you super tough, so you do massive damage when you'd hit someone else. There was some that were, was it like gravity or something like that? So then when you did a jump, you do a massive jump. Really was a fantastic game. And uh, like I say, I, I, I really, for, for me, I love this idea of a, of a mashup between the two games. I think it works well. I can see there's great potential as well for the weekly challenges. <laughs> that, that's assuming we get any weekly challenges at all, of course. Yeah, like I say, it seems to be a mixed response. So again, yeah, comment and let me know. What what you think about the concept of this uh, this mashup between the two games? If you remember the uh, if you remember the the game as well, I can't remember what console I used to. It might have been PlayStation. It was definitely on a PC. I played it because you get different. This this car that we're in now. This uh, oh, bad crash there. This Eagle R car. I think from memory was the one you started with. But then all the, your, your opponents were in other cars as well, and you could—I can't remember if you could buy them or was it when you wrecked them you could take them and you could go in the different cars. Let's drop down into this section, see if we can actually go into here. I know it just resets. It's like the water. So, <clears throat> so you've got a, a pretty, uh, a pretty accurate map of the of the arenas, but then they've put a, a basically a racetrack on there, haven't they? There was free ro free roam mode though, and. Um, demolition so I wonder if you can then go into all these other areas when you're doing that maybe it's just on this race where it resets you oh just missed that tree I can't oh there we go there's the finish where do we finish God, car's a bit of a mess 24th yeah so there's the two new tracks <clears throat> like I say, I really like them. Really like the idea of the of the mashup between the two games. Big fan of Carmageddon. Just just why why couldn't you have managed to release it in a, in a working state for for all the users? 
Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and see you soon.